like to talk when he's doing it. He likes the process. Yeah. So I really like, like, there's some people who don't, it's a bit of a hassle, but it's kind of like, even just down to keeping it clean, I just really like it. I know anyone who's known me since I was young, personally, knows that the me you see at a bike race isn't really me. Yeah. You're so concentrated. <laughs> Out of the two of you, who does breakfast on the weekend? Me. Oh, not even just the weekend, every day. Well, she's incredible, like, really. So, is this your bike? Oh, that's probably a bit big for me, actually. That one. <laughs> like, things clean. I think you are the, the highest Swift ambassador leveller. Really? Yeah. Just do it, I don't really aim for that. I always have a helmet on, just because Casper says to me, Casper says an avatar with that helmet on, he's like, Daddy, they haven't got a helmet on. You know, like he knows. If on a group ride, this one starts a minute. Do people message you? All the time. What do they say? Let's, let's ride, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Separated my shoulder at the Tour de France in 2014. And yeah, I started using the whip just to get on and completely changed the game for me, you know? So it's like nearly 10 years now. It used to be you went on the indoor trainer if you couldn't get outside. Now it's kind of changed it that you'd prefer to be on the indoor trainer sometimes, you know? And uh, you see you see the avatar get out of the saddle and start to sprint, you know? And it's just that, it's just the, the expanse of kilometres of road you can do with it. How's the hand swipe this look? Love that, love that, seems great now. If you want to go for a ride and you're in a place that you can ride your bike, but actually you'd, you'd rather just do it virtually. There's more terrain, there's better terrain. Progression of the world. For instance, if I'm in London, I can get out riding, but I'm not going to get a 20 minute climb. I'm not going to get to replicate Alpe d'Huez. Oh, do you know what I do as well? Yeah. I like to on a group ride. Oh, the box. Some, yeah. Just rain. Just rain. This gives in this area. Gives like, is it? 10 or something at a time. Part of it that I really like is to be able to just ride with everyone. A lot of my friends on Zwift, are, there are more people I know who live around the world and we chat on the phone while, they're, while we're riding, you know. I've got five kids, but one of them's obsessed with cycling. Yeah. Wow. And that one. Do you want to do the next one? <laughs> Daddy's sound with it. Yeah. Maybe sit her up a little bit. Is that him? Yeah. Swift, no, that's, <laughs> that's Swift, that's Swift, daddy. He went, I don't want a jersey on, I only train in bib. <laughs> yeah, through lockdown, he'd always come in and watch me on Zwift. And so I made a little eye frame out of wood and put some shelf brackets on, and I was able to mount his bike up so there's no resistance. He can come and ride with me, and he'd be riding, and he'd do one, two hours. Actually, the other week, we were on, I finished after an hour and a half, and uh, it was a group ride, and Casper was like, can we do another one? And I was like, mate, you know? It honestly, like, it just gives another enjoyment element to riding a bike, you know? I think, uh, I think anyone who has kids, like, I don't think there's anyone who wouldn't dream of their children riding with them. Like, that's kind of what they see when they grow up. That's all this being able to kind of encompass. Uh, it's what it's continued to think and improve and, and improvise on. And use your bike for having fun. It's brilliant, I love it, you know. Look, yeah, Casper's like, he's just exact, exactly, like when I was young, he was just a hint. Clearly the Cavendish gene is strong because they all look like Mark. Out of all these carnage. One thing people say, you don't know a love till you've had a kid. And you always go, shut up, you know? It's really like that. You maybe have a second child and you think, oh, how can I love? someone as much as I love this person. You don't half your love, it doubles, it triples. It puts what I do, my cycling in perspective. It's a job, you know, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's my everything, really. Did you ever think Mark would have a flock of ducks? Absolutely not, I don't think Mark ever thought he would. <laughs> the funniest thing is, Mark said that when we first had them, people in the peloton would come up to him and ask him about the ducks, we're like, have you? Got ducks? He was like, yeah, we we have ducks now. I was like, see, you didn't want them, and now who's laughing? I've, I've been a pro 16 years. I've had some of the best times in, in my life. I've had some of the worst times in my life. It's hard, the life of a bike rider, but I'm so fortunate to be able to do it. It's so fortunate. Like, 
I do what I love as my profession. I've always loved it, I always will love it. And at this basic point, I'm so lucky to do it.